Vietnam has long been known to attract significant foreign investment from major East Asian economies such as Japan, South Korea, and Taiwan. Collectively, these economic giants have channeled tens of billions of dollars into Vietnam through foreign direct investments. South Korea's Samsung has provided numerous opportunities, while Japanese investors have been prominent in both the private and infrastructure sectors, contributing to transportation and energy projects. Taiwan has driven substantial manufacturing investments in Vietnam, most notably the prominent Foxconn Group, known as the world's largest technology manufacturer and service provider. But despite these substantial investments from the three countries, totaling around $78 billion from South Korea, $64 billion from Japan, and $35 billion from Taiwan, according to Crow, another Asian powerhouse has steadily emerged as a key investor in Vietnam, Singapore. In fact, Singapore is quickly catching up in terms of total investment value, with over $67.5 billion to date, placing it as the second largest investor just behind South Korea. It seems that Singapore may even surpass South Korea as a leading investor in the future. In both 2020 and 2021, Singapore was the top investor in Vietnam, and it maintained this position through the first 10 months of 2022 surpassing all other countries in investment. The question now is, what drives Singapore to invest so heavily in Vietnam? To answer this, we must delve into the factors behind Singapore's growing interest in Vietnam's investment landscape. Before delving into the intricate details of the data, let us embark on a profound exploration of the rich history encompassing both entities. The relationship between Singapore and Vietnam dates back to the early 20th century, when both were under colonial rule. Their ties began to strengthen in the late 20th century, with progress in political, economic, and defense areas. During the early 20th century, Vietnam was under French rule and Singapore a British colony. Both experienced Japanese occupation during World War II. Vietnam gained independence in 1954, dividing into North and South, while Singapore achieved self-governance in 1959 and full independence in 1965. Diplomatic relations between the two were established in 1973. The relationship remained low profile throughout the 1970s and 1980s due to Singapore's concerns over communism and Vietnam's invasion of Cambodia. But after Vietnam's withdrawal from Cambodia in 1989, their relationship began to improve. The early 1990s saw Vietnam's Doi Moi economic reform policy, leading to increased engagement with Singapore. In 1992, Singapore established a trade representative office in Hanoi, and multiple agreements were signed between the two countries. Political ties have also strengthened, with frequent high-level visits and cooperation within regional and international forums such as ASEAN, APEC, and the UN. Singapore's rising prominence as an investor in Vietnam can be attributed to several factors, one of which is its focus on industrial parks. In 1996, the inaugural Vietnam Singapore Industrial Park was established, marking the beginning of a strong trade and investment relationship between the two countries. This joint venture, initiated by the leaders of both nations, led to the development of a 1,000-hectare park in Binh Duong which in turn paved the way for the creation of numerous industrial parks across Vietnam. To date, there are approximately 17 such parks, with total investments accounting to around $15 billion. These parks have generated over 250,000 direct jobs and accommodated more than 880 tenant companies. A unique feature of the Vietnam-Singapore industrial parks is their development by a partnership between a Vietnamese state-owned enterprise and Singapore's Simcorp, one of the island nation's largest energy and urban development firms. These industrial parks not only offer ready-built factories but also incorporate Singaporean-style management expertise, providing modern solutions for both foreign and domestic companies looking to capitalize on Vietnam's rich human capital and resources. 
Another factor contributing to Singapore's growing investments in Vietnam is the country's emergence as a top destination for mergers and acquisitions by Singaporean firms. Both private conglomerates and state-affiliated enterprises have actively acquired assets and companies throughout Vietnam. In a recent example from March 2023, Capital Land, a prominent real estate giant, entered negotiations to purchase $1.5 billion worth of assets from Vinhomes, Vietnam's largest publicly traded property firm. In the same month, Singapore's SP Group acquired two solar farms in Phu Yen province, adding energy assets with a combined capacity of around 100 megawatts to their portfolio. This deal represents SP Group's initial foray into the Vietnamese market, with plans to invest in and develop up to 1.5 gigawatts of capacity by 2025. Several other major investments have occurred in recent years, such as Jardine Cycle and Carriage's acquisition of a 10% stake in Vinamilk for $616 million in 2017, among many other high-value asset purchases. A third significant factor contributing to Singapore's growing investments in Vietnam is the expansion of Singaporean businesses into the Vietnamese market. Singapore is home to numerous multinational companies with both domestic and international origins. Major Singaporean firms like C Limited and Grab Holdings have established a substantial presence in Vietnam. According to Statista, Shopee, a subsidiary of C Limited, ranked as the most popular e commerce website in Vietnam, attracted around 84.5 million visits per month. C-Limited's other ventures, such as Garena and Free Fire, have also gained immense popularity in the country. In 2017, C-Limited acquired a majority stake in gourmet media platform Foodie Corporation for approximately $64 million. Similarly, Grab Holdings, a Singaporean-based ride-hailing company turned super app, has found great success in Vietnam. A 2021 Q&Me survey revealed that Grab was the leading ride-hailing platform in Vietnam in terms of usage. A separate study by Statista showed that Grab held a 74.6% market share in the country as of 2020. Another significant player in Vietnam's market is United Overseas Bank UOB, one of Singapore's largest financial institutions. In 2018, UOB Vietnam became the first Singaporean bank to establish a foreign-owned subsidiary in the country, quickly expanding to multiple branches. The acquisition of CD Bank Southeast Asian Operations for $5 billion also facilitated the transfer of over 575 Vietnamese staff to UOB, further strengthening the bank's presence in Vietnam. Singapore's substantial investments in Vietnam can be attributed to various factors, with the three discussed previously being just the tip of the iceberg. Another key aspect is the significant involvement of Singaporean investment firms in Vietnam's burgeoning startup ecosystem. For example, Temasek Holdings and GIC have invested hundreds of millions of dollars into Vietnamese businesses. In 2019, GIC led a consortium that invested $500 million for a minority stake in Vietnamese retailer VCM Services and Trading Development JSC. Additionally, numerous other companies have invested in Vietnam to benefit from its export-oriented goods market. But one of the most important factors here that we have yet to talk about is trade. International trade between Vietnam and Singapore has experienced significant growth over the past few decades. As two dynamic economies in Southeast Asia, both countries have become important trading partners to each other, with trade in goods and services expanding considerably. Their strong bilateral trade relationship has been fueled by several factors, including economic reforms, regional integration, strategic investments, and government initiatives. In 2021, their international trade reached a remarkable $26.9 billion, a figure that continues to grow year on year, thanks in part to the extensive investments being made. The robust trade relationship between Vietnam and Singapore has had a profound impact on Vietnam's economy, contributing to its growth and development over the past few decades. Increased trade volumes, strategic investments, technology transfer, job creation, and stronger economic ties have all played a crucial role in shaping Vietnam's economic landscape. 
And finally, the strategic investments, mergers, acquisitions, and trade agreements that have been building momentum in Vietnam are set to usher in a new era of economic growth. Committing billions of dollars, after all, is not a decision made lightly. It's a bold step forward that reverberates through every layer of the economy. These profound effects are nowhere more evident than in Singapore's engagement with Vietnam's industrial parks, representing an impressive $15 billion of total investments. This relationship has fueled the creation of over 250,000 direct jobs, an achievement that transcends mere numbers. What this means for Vietnam is not merely stable employment for a substantial part of the workforce. It's a spark that has ignited economic activities across related sectors, such as logistics, services, and local manufacturing. This synergy has not only brought financial prosperity, but also contributed to a thriving ecosystem of growth and collaboration. So in conclusion, Singapore's growing investments in Vietnam can be attributed to various factors, such as the development of Vietnam-Singapore industrial parks, the country's emergence as a top destination for mergers and acquisitions, and the expansion of Singaporean businesses into the Vietnamese market. Furthermore, the significant involvement of Singaporean investment firms in Vietnam's startup ecosystem and the strong bilateral trade relationship between the two countries have also played a vital role in shaping Vietnam's economic landscape. As Singapore continues to invest heavily in Vietnam, it is likely to surpass South Korea as a leading foreign investor in the country. The strong economic ties and cooperation between the two nations not only benefit their respective economies, but also contribute to the overall development and growth of the Southeast Asian region. As a result, it is expected that the close relationship between Vietnam and Singapore will continue to flourish, fostering greater economic opportunities and prosperity for both countries in the future.